call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 10th day of March 2020 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Dennis Beatty to come forward and lead us in a prayer and a place to flag. Hey, Father, from these nine, Lord, it's a sacred opportunity we come together here today, Lord. Conduct the county business, Lord. Just ask you, give them the wisdom, Lord, to do the county business as you'd have them do, Lord. Just lead, guide, and direct them in decisions they make here tonight, Lord. And Lord, just thank you for this beautiful day. Bless me, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and, and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's your uh, The next thing we have is uh, I want to uh, an uh, I'll tell you, I'm sure you all know that uh, we lost one of our County judge executives. As a matter of fact, the immediate past judge executive passed away. Uh, it's a small group. There's only been six in the history of the county. And this is the second one to pass. And uh, uh, we did send them, uh, we did it to court level, made up and sent uh, something to it. And uh, uh, the widow, Janice Jones, uh, wrote us a letter sincerely thanking us for the wind chimes that we sent them. And also wrote a tribute to uh, David Jones, and I want to get uh, Justin Count to read it. All right. With regard to Judge David Jones, Judge Jones had a great love of his community here in Ohio County, and after years of involvement in civil works of various kinds, he decided to run for magistrate of his district. He was elected and served nine years in that capacity from 1993 to 2002. While he was a magistrate, county government was faced with the dilemma of having resources, uh, having no resources to recruit business or to sufficiently provide services. He supported the ordinance to have an occupational tax license fee for the first time, giving the county the funds to operate and to bring new industry. David was the first magistrate in Ohio County to participate in the further uh, education program offered by the state. He ran for and was elected to the highest elected office in the county government, the county judge executive. He was awarded the lifetime title of judge by virtue of holding that office, and he served in that role from 2007 to 2011. As judge executive, he kept the county on a positive course. Judge Jones set up an emergency reserve fund in the first budget he prepared, which he proved, which proved to be very important. Judge Jones led the county through the greatest natural disaster of recent history, which was that 2009 ice storm. And David once said, Ohio County residents deserve as much as anyone anywhere. He supported the wellness center and hospital, among many other things. Thank you, Justin. Uh, before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, do I have a motion to approve? Mr. Minutes. I'm sorry. I'll make a motion to approve the bills and pay, so if we want to. Okay, we'll do them first and then. Okay. Uh, do we have any discussion on the bills and claims? If there's none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carries. Before you have the uh, February 25th, 2020 minutes. Make a motion. Motion with Joe Barnes. Second. Second by who? Sam, Sam Small. Uh, is there any discussions, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Okay. Uh, before you have the February Treasurer's Report and Financial Statement. Make a motion. Motion with Joe Barnes, second by Sam Small. Any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, do you have the clerk's uh, report? Okay. Um, 
also have the uh, clerk's February report. Um, do I have a motion to acknowledge, motion that? acknowledge that? The clerk's February report. A motion by Jason Bullock. I'll second. Second by Joe Barnes. Is there any discussion or questions for Bass? Discussion or questions for Bass? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. I didn't take my desk with you. You got it. Uh, what, what we're passing out here is, is a uh, reprioritization of the. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's enough. For, I'll take that one. Here's their test. Yeah, there you go. Is there two? Yeah, there was two. There you go. There's two, two pages of each. Here you go. Well, no, there's an extra one. Here you go. No, we get, we're good. We're good? Okay. Uh, okay, what I wanted to do is reprioritize the house bill money. After a motion is made here, I'll still have to get a letter from Scott Lewis and C.B. Embry to approve it. Then we send it in to the state. But the motive of this was too far. Well, the motive of it was to move up the uh, county building improvements so that we can get them done this spring and not have to wait uh, longer. Uh, and the uh, revolving loan program already had a, a whole lot of money uh, active in it. So we moved them down the list and move this up. And I would move that we uh, do this reprioritization. Second, second by uh, by count. Dan, about how many of uh, these you think will be funded this time? Uh, I think we would be lucky to get another hundred. Number 11, okay. They already have in that proposal. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. We've done that. One. Remind me tomorrow, uh, Miranda, to get that letter off to the two legislators. Thank you. Yeah, they have to prove it, actually, technically. Next, Sheriff, you want to come up and talk to us about these cars? Y'all, do y'all all have a copy of that in front of you? Yes. You lost something, Judge. Judge, members of the court, I left you a uh, bid summary uh, where we bid our police cars for this year. I'm grateful for the opportunity to get the money to be able to buy another two vehicles. Uh, we've uh, tried to reach out to everyone we could to get bids. Uh, we got uh, some real good bids this year. As a matter of fact, it uh, looks like we're about $3,300 under uh, where we were last year per car. So, uh, And I, I think maybe even might be able to save a little bit more as we get into this uh, uh, purchase process. Uh, but we had uh, the, the lowest bid we had came from Cole Chrysler, which is over Muhlenberg County, for thirty thousand five hundred seventy-three dollars. We we noted in our bid that we would like to have immediate delivery, and uh, those were estimated two to three months out before we could get those cars. Uh, John Jones came in with the next bid at thirty-two five twenty-three. And they have those on the lot, and those are where we bought our cars before. Um, and they also have a place to uh, bid the outfitting of the vehicles. If you'll notice there, there were uh, we had a bid for a Ford Explorer, and also we bid a Chevrolet Tahoe. A Tahoe, and uh, uh, the next page you'll see the equipment. Uh, for the, the Dodge Durango, since they were the cheapest bid, we, we bid that equipment. And that was $7,900 just for the 
lights, cages, uh, just the equipment to go in. Graphics, we estimated around a thousand. Um, and the total equipment uh, for that vehicle per unit was $8,971. Okay. Was that through the same people, the, the equipment? Yes, it was through uh, on duty depot where we where we bid last year and okay so it's not through john john no 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 it, it wasn't we actually they were supposed to have gotten back with us today and we're waiting on their bid to get back in so it, it it came back higher last time joe but we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt and hopefully it comes back a little cheaper but um if you'll notice in that uh third page that was the uh um, bid we got there uh, at that $7,971 through on duty depot. What is it? Are, are you taking any of your cars out of service? We have, uh, we're still running two Crown Victorias that are real old, so we're going to try to retire those, Larry. Well, is there any equipment that you could use in these? or? They won't, we haven't got to the point where we can reuse that good equipment yet. You're swapping uh, over from cars that they don't have out yeah, there anymore. Yeah, yeah. And we just, uh, one of our high mileage uh, uh, Dodge Chargers that we're using, I got a bill that I just turned in this week for transmission, drive line, and water pump was $6,100 we spent on one of our older ones, but it's got a hundred and I don't know, 20, 30,000 miles on them already, so. And that's to be expected, I guess, with any make and model, it's gonna happen. But yeah, we'll we'll retire out those old Crown Victorias that we're using, Larry. If, and, and, and with this bid, I'm gonna try to cut corners everywhere I can, and I would ask you if there's any left in that pot, um, if, if I can find a van that's affordable, I, I need another transport van because we're moving so many prisoners. I would ask you to reserve that, whatever's left over for me to spend on a van. I had one found for $10,000. It was a good van with 70 or 80,000 miles on it. And they sold it before I could get here and get the money approved. So I would ask you if we could reserve that. I'll, I'll find one, bring it to you, and get you to approve that. How many uh, cars are you buying this round? Just two. two. Is there is there any way you can put it off for a couple months and save that on that bid? You know, because that'd be four thousand to go on toward that band too. This bid here. You know the the lower. Yeah, I, I know there's one immediate, but is there? Yeah, I, I well, I think I, I've talked to the ones that have the cars on the lot, and they tell me they'll make it right with us. So I think in this I'll even save a little bit more than what our our, our award-winning bid received. Does that makes sense. I I talked okay. to them and told them that we had a thirty thousand five hundred, and they assured me that they could beat that price. But I, I I just I don't have that in writing to show you. But right. they're going to save us some more money. Good. Those cars being immediate delivery. Do I have a? a Motion to uh, accept that bid. Motion by Larry Cam to accept. Second by Joe Barnes. On that note. Is there any more discussion or questions for sure? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Thank you all again. We appreciate it. Thank you. 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 I guess they got. Oh, you did? You did? Thank very much, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. What's this? Two ways. I'm gonna do part of it that way and part of it another way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, uh, gentlemen, magistrates, we'll give you a report on the budget. 
Some of you have asked for that before our next item of business. Uh, got two fold approach to it. We're, we're to balance the budget after this uh, measure that we hopefully take will be 87,200 short. Uh, Going to move 44,000 of that. We're taking out an uh, item from the emergency management that was in general fund and moving it to cold severance. The other, the remainder of it, well, we'll figure the percentage and go across the board with it. So I'll be taking 44 some of it from uh, cold severance and the 33 from uh, uh, cut across the board cuts. That's what we'll be short, 33. Yeah, and I'll take it across the board. I'll figure what that percentage is and go everywhere. And if you take that from everybody across the board, it won't be so painful. But taking the uh, co the other end of code severance. When we have a workshop, can we kind of go through the budget? Maybe, Absolutely. We're going to find some more money we could cut, possibly. I mean, I've, I'm always doing that anyway. But yes, and and we'll have a. Bu I'm going to present y'all the budget at the last meeting of this month, and uh, and before the court meeting in March, the first court meeting in March, we're going to have a. Uh, Workshop. I'll get with y'all when's a good time to schedule it. David, in that budget, are we are we pulling out of the uh, road materials? Are we reducing it? That percentage. Just that percentage. Yes. There won't be any of the thirty-three. No, but we're also no, but we're also moving some some of their materials to. Well, it was already in Coast Seven, so you aren't going to see any hurt there on the road. Because I know they're already about to run out of yeah. money in the road. But it'd be just that small percentage. And there's other ways we can get road materials, and I'm working on that too. Larry, you going to make a motion to accept that? Can we have a workshop between if we have a first and second reading? Of course. And look at ways. Uh, we just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like Joe. I feel like that if, if we're going to impose this, which we don't want to, but we haven't done it in years and we're at the point we have to, we have to look at ways we can be responsible too. And if there's some fluff, we need to, to get rid of it a little bit or look at ways we can anyway without before we just say, hey, we're going to tax. Well, I'll, have a, I'll, I'll schedule something. You're talking about before the second reading of the ordinance, right? I, I just feel like we might, I would like to have another workshop. I don't know how the others feel, but that's just me. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. But like I said, it, it's a it's a tough thing to try to uh, it is, but put together the county, try. and uh, that's something I work on every day, <coughs> so I know where we are. Um, another question: We got some new figures that I got today too. Is that something that we look at between here and now? Can the changes be made if we wanted to? What figures you talking about? Did you not? I, I just kind of done before you walked in. Oh, okay. Yeah, with that note two there, David, I didn't know if we could hold off on this and go ahead and plug in the generic numbers into your budget so we can have a workshop. See, I'm looking at doing this. And then that would. If you're going to already do that. Now, what was this change here now? What are you talking about? That is, that's 25, that's 30, 30 <coughs> what is this number here? That would be the difference between those two. That's what, if you did it that, that's the number you would get if you did it 25, that's the number you get. That's the difference between the two. Okay. Okay. You know. See, we can talk a little bit more about that in the, in the next budget workshop. But, if you know, then you're talking. Yeah. That. If we want to table this tonight, that well, I, I think we need to do the first reading, and then we can we can amend it. Well, during. You can you amend it in between first and second. Absolutely, reading? you can amend that. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what I want to make sure. And I'm not saying we're going to, right? But it, it's an option that I don't want to. I don't want to tie my hands and sell ourselves short. We're going to have to do this. Well, we can yeah. do it. If we'll pass this first reading, we'll have a workshop prior to the next meeting. What are y'all gentlemen talking about? You know, more than... More this than this first I'd heard of, Maybe. by the way. Maybe. No, I, 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 I just certainly won't be on board for that. I, it's a stretch for me to do the .25, so... It is. Well, so what, my thing is, here's my thing on this, and that's 5%, that's .30. I don't want to do it either, but if you're going to do it, I don't want to have to turn right around and, and, and have to do it in several more years. Mm -hmm. Well, we can, we will talk about that in a in a workshop. In a, and in also, a 
this money is just to go for the emergency services. The nine one one and the fire departments, and it can't be used for nothing else. That's the only way I vote for it. If there's any left over, I don't want it going in the general fund. It's, no, it would have to be in. It has to be in emergency services. That's why Justin wrote it. And it, it reads that. Uh, at what? Page eight. This paragraph right here. It reads yeah, that way. I think it can't go in the general fund ever. I think right. the, the I think the various requests were for emergency services, uh, and and talking to some of you about the language or whatever. So we put emergency services, and then we can add also with priority to nine one one and the fire department so that they. They are protected in, the, in that way, so I could add that language after. Right. I think know, the priority is the 911 fire department because yeah. that's what we're doing. It it right. That is what that yeah. is what it's for, and that's that's a total intention. <laughs> but uh, we we must move on this, and we can talk about it. This was the first I'd ever heard about looking at a different rate. Well, I apologize. I just got that John right when Jason walked in. He didn't have a chance to do it. Well, and, and, and I asked him because here's here's the concern. You know, I'm hearing rumor that, that you know, die sale, who knows. But if we're going to do this, I don't have to turn around and do it again in a couple of years. If, you know, we haven't done this in 20 years. I don't want to be, a, I don't want to make a habit. It could easily go up as well as it goes it down. Could. And it I, could. I, I, and I it totally expect not. it. I totally expect it to go up. I hope it does. I hope totally expect it to go up. Occupational tax, the, the level of employment in the county, I expect it to go up, not down. And that's the reason I, I just be I'm staunch on, on that about being on the 25 percent because if unemployment does get better, which we all hope it does, well then 25 percent or more than adequately take care of what we're looking at here in the budget. And I I, I need to say too, government need to be, including us, all of us need to be more responsible for the dollars that we spend. And of course, emergency services are number one priority, but. I'm not a. I don't like taxes to start with so much. So much, but I feel confident I, there won't be no more discussion for me. Anything over 25 percent. I mean, we'll talk uh, point 25 percent. The budget thing and everything. If we I'm get this first. I'm not for no taxes raises, but we have to support our fire departments and our 911. That's yeah, something yeah. we have to have. And they absolutely couldn't do it out of where we've well, been. I don't think any of us are for tax raises. I, I agree with that. But when you haven't done it since 1990. Four. Four. I mean, I, things have gone up in 30 years, big time, and we yeah. haven't. I mean, they, they you know, know. Well, let's go, <laughs> in, let's go ahead and get this first reading, and we'll have a hearing, and that, and we'll talk about all of the, uh, the, the pros and cons of it. And, yeah. And I'll have, uh, I'll have a little more information on that budget thing for you. And, and you said it did. So what was that again on the, uh, the 87? So we're going to come short. You'll be getting it out of work. Again, coast, uh, uh, 44,000 of it from Coast Severance, and the rest of it will go across the board. And the 44,000 is coming from Coast Severance, it's coming from what it'll be, it'll be the It'll be the LGEA, and it'll go to the uh, uh, emergency services and find them. I mean, not emergency service, uh, Charlie's Department, emergency management. And we don't think that that's going to go down the LGA even more. Not this year. We may have to look at other things next year, but it'll take care of this year for sure. Are you going to turn around and another year or so? Yeah. It'll take care of it now. <clears throat> so let's, Larry. No, I'm going to let you do that. Good. Okay. I'll uh, second it for you. I move. That we go ahead and adopt this uh, resolution for first reading with the understanding ordinance for a, resolu for a uh, first reading and that we will commit to uh, have a meeting and discuss it further before the second reading. And I'll be probably have scheduled a special call, so I'll get with all of you when you can come. Is that a motion? Uh, tax ordinance 2009-2 uh, concerning the occupational tax. Is that a motion, Judge? Yes, that was my motion, okay. and second by Larry Cam. Since it's a second, now we can legally discuss it. Uh, we all know that our emergency services are number one. We all know that we need to fund 911. We all know we need to fund our fire departments. But putting it on the working man ain't the way to go. Uh, there's a better way, and 
spread it out across the whole county instead of just the people that work for a living. And uh, so no matter what you raise it to or lower it to, I'm not going to vote for it. So after that, we can vote. Roll call, Miranda. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? I really think that that 40000 that we just talked about, Judge, is not going to be there in that cold severance. I, I will bring you the figures. I'm supposed to get them on the 15th. I'm supposed to get uh, a uh, with the with the no with the county not being yeah. producing. Yes. Yeah. I'm a no tonight. I'd like to see those figures from on the 15th. Johnson. Yes. Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Yes. So the first Small. reading. Small. No and. I'll always be enough. Okay. Uh, that's a that was a four two, so that motion uh, carries. The first reading is in. We will schedule both the second reading, and we'll also schedule this meeting to talk about it. Uh, the meeting prior to the second okay. reading. Okay. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, we have a resolution uh, twenty twenty eight. And this is just allows uh, all of our departments, sheriff, 911, emergency services, everybody uh, to, to apply for Homeland Security. Uh, one, one of them's up right now is the EMS cardiac monitor. Uh, and this allows us to uh, apply for that grant. So moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Here a second. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Uh, being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Um, it's pink. I like it. <laughs> when I ask now, uh, Justin has requested a short closed session. And gentlemen, we do need to make it short. Uh, here, I need a motion a second real quick. Under 618010, CNF. Yeah. Okay. I move we go in closed session. Who second? Sam. Okay, let's go back. And uh, we, w we need to make her quick because... Make motion. Go back into session. Second. On favor? Aye. 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 We're back in session. Uh, now we got a. I'm going to entertain a motion from uh, Joe from the Wade Self Gale Committee. Yes, we got a motion here. We, we've just a few uh, minor revisions to the Wade Scale, uh, and I just like to uh, adopt it in. We've got the sheet of paper here to reflect all the changes. I second. The motion second. Any further discussion? We been uh, on favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item, I'm presenting. I'm putting up the name of Nick Woolen as road supervisor, full time, salary of forty five thousand per year for three months. After which, uh, a re favorable review will go to 49. Uh, and uh, it's effective uh, the 15th. And uh, uh, as for roll call, vote. Johnston? Yes. Yeah. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Motion carries. Move on. Yeah. Yeah. First, I'll elaborate a little bit more on that. Yes. Uh, just, just for informational purposes, on the wage scale, what it mainly boils down to is uh, the salary positions we had in effect on the wage scale really hadn't looked at a starting, middle, and top out pay on our uh, salary positions. That is that something, you know, it's kind of come in the last few years. And so we just adjusted that where we would actually have a starting, middle, and top-out pay on our wage scales, on our salary positions. And we're looking at hiring a new rope woman, so that's kind of what we're looking at. 
That's okay. all you guys kind of look like. You didn't give enough details. So I think you better, yeah, you better, yeah. Well, you can have a printed copy of it. It's just pretty long to read out. Uh, next, I have for the park, uh, golf course, I mean, golf course park, uh, Michael Burgess as a grounds attendant, seasonal, <coughs> at the starting rate of 868 per hour. And uh, this would be effective uh, the 15th. Uh, roll call. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Next, uh, Debbie, you're up with the courthouse players. <coughs> Thank you all for letting me take just a few minutes more of your time. Uh, I am coming back to report on our last uh, dinner theater that we had in October. We had we made seven thousand dollars and our profit was around five. We had a lot for food was around two thousand. So we decided to have another one. And we're going to have it in two nights, March 20th and 21st. Um, but what I would like to ask you all again is to maybe consider helping us uh, to remind you this is for uh, money to purchase new seats for our theater. Uh, these seats were from, from the 40s, so we're trying to uh, get more comfortable seating. So um, if you all have any questions for me about what we're planning. Sure. Uh, appreciate everything you're doing. Uh, I do have something for you, a, a request to look into, and, and I don't want to answer now, but okay. sometime. Uh, we have a youth group theater, and I always thought the Courthouse Players was big on you know bringing up the next generation, and somehow or another they not, have not been able to work with you, and they're doing it here, and I would love to see that Is in the Courthouse Player Room. Yes. Okay, yeah. We she used to be with us, so yes, we would be interested in in doing that because actually when we first started, um, when the fiscal court gave <coughs> the theater to us, it was to partner with the high school drama team. Yes. Drama class. And they no longer have any well, drama. Deal is as near to it as we have. Yeah. So I would like to set that up and, and uh, yeah. uh Miranda will do that yes, with you and uh, you and Deal. Yeah. Yes. What is the name of your show? It's called um, Dead to the Last Drop. Dead to the Last Drop. <laughs> and it's a murder mystery. It's based in a coffee shop yeah. slash bookstore. <coughs> it's really funny. And um, we hope that you all can come and join us, anyone that's interested. What is the ticket price? Again? 20 And that includes dinner, sword heads, and sundries. Are, they are catering. And the coffee shop only serves soup. So we're having only soup, but we are adding sandwiches. We we like to go along with what what the uh, script calls for. What the script does, yes. Yeah. So. Sounds good. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you thank for you. what you do. Thank you. I, I love it, so thank you yeah. all. Yeah. Uh, I heard of a play recently that I, I would request that you don't ever do. I forgot the name of it. Some friends of mine went down south and watched it, and basically a duck hunter went out hunting and shot down an angel. And so I, I don't like that subject matter. Well, we won't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, seriously, that happened. Uh, junior achievement. Hey, Jeff. Well, Dan. Magistrates, how are you all? I'll be brief because I know you guys probably want to get home. Judge, thanks for the, the time. Uh, we were here, I think, last year, a couple of years, giving you all some updated reports to a lot of familiar faces. So. Um, Two years ago, uh, actually December 2017, we all invested $2,500 in junior achievement programs. Uh, last year took a, a, a respite uh, from that, but the economic development folks uh, picked up that same $2,500 uh, to help us uh, continue to provide those programs. Uh, for seven years now, we have provided high school at this 12th grade level, uh, reaching all 12th graders with essential skills program. Uh, all those things that you hear employers citing as deficient in the workforce, showing up on time, uh, 
punctuality, attendance, critical thinking, communication, problem solving, etc. Uh, so we continue that program at the high school, uh, but based on request and largely based on some changes in the Kentucky legislature that is now mandating what you all have already been doing, and now it's going to be starting to mandate financial literacy programs, we've expanded by 55% this year uh, to now serve uh, an additional uh, 16 classrooms at the middle school with a financial literacy program. Both of these programs are helping the school system meet those new legislative mandates that happened in the last session. Um, we are behind uh, in our fundraising year. We're struggling uh, <coughs> to uh, meet the cost of all of these expanded programs. I've left you some information. It's uh, front and back. You can see that we're growing this year uh, from about 460 students served to about 700 students. Largely that's because of that middle school program. Uh, you've got some uh, statistics there on the back as well. Uh, our volunteers uh, last year contributed about 3,000 instructional hours in the school. That's obviously going to increase uh, now that we're in the middle school. Uh, you can see some of the, the statistics out there, uh, the need for these programs. 75% um, of Americans are concerned about their finances. We've got uh, more and more uh, students who graduated from often expensive universities uh, with student loans and they're defaulting on those. And we've got a lot of great jobs, as maybe you all are aware of, that don't require uh, four-year degrees, uh, that uh, you have a lot of industries and companies having a hard time filling those jobs uh, because of that uh, pipeline of, of uh, employees aren't really seeking that. So these are all things that Junior Achievement is working on, hopefully proactively, uh, to prepare that those students of today here to be your workforce for tomorrow. So. Um, would humbly ask uh, for your consideration uh, to reinvest in these junior achievement programs uh, as much as, as you see fit. Uh, we would love to uh, at least see the, the 2500 again. Uh, we would match that then. The rest of the balance would uh, come from the private sector here in Ohio County. Uh, as we've stated before, um, don't look at me as the, the, the evil man from Owensboro. We cover 13 counties. I serve on uh, uh, the Grad Workforce Development Board, Judge. I know yes. you're on the big Grad Board. Yes. <coughs> the Workforce Development Board. Yes. So we are in 13 counties. Uh, that's Grad and, and then some. Uh, and we're not mingling the monies. Uh, so our promise to you is any money that you give us is going to be spent here in Ohio County and won't go to any other counties. So we have we, an answer. We know it's very much I have, well, I have a question because I, I help with junior achievement. I actually go to the hospital and middle school and teach classes. Thank, thanks, James. But now, if, it, if it's mandated, what is the ladies mandated, mandated by the state? It's with the courthouse players. Why is it Debbie Bayman? Like, um, well, like many things that our state legislature does, it's an unfunded mandate. So the legislature did not appropriate any additional funds. Uh, the school system is have skin in the game. Uh, we are getting uh, a contribution from from Ohio County Schools, uh, it's just not to the level of the thirteen thousand dollars that it takes to provide all these programs. Mm -hmm. So, so the state doesn't pay the school system. No. Well, they're sometimes they'll unmandate raises and stuff like that. They'll do. Yeah, they 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 have unmandated. They tell you you have to do it, and they don't fund it. And, and, and that's one of these circumstances. So uh, the school system is making an investment in these programs, mm -hmm. but cer certainly not in a position to pay one hundred percent. Uh, of the cost. Uh, by the way, the cost is $500 a classroom, about $20 a student. Uh, I can stand here very proudly that we're good stewards with your funding. Uh, there's 106 JA areas across the country. We're number one with the lowest operating cost of any other JA in the country. So we are stretching your dollars uh, more so than any other JA in the country. Um, Appreciate that. So, it, the, it, it's up to the court. I'm, uh, I'll go in my sixth of the $2,500. Uh, so, so will I. Uh, be $416.67. Uh, to be well, exact. Well, <laughs> all, will all of you agree to that? No, I won't. I've got, uh, y'all know our discretionary money is getting low. I've got three fire departments and three parks. And I don't see where it's the court's obligation to fund something with the schools. I just well, uh, I, I think uh, I think 
the to offer a, a response to that, just to give you some more food for thought, um, is yes, where our programs happen is in the schools, and yes, we're helping them with the mandate. That's really our, our ticket into there to really do what JA is really all about, which is future economic development. We're, we're making sure that Ohio County is going to have that skilled workforce that they're going to need. Um, so I would just offer that as a, as a response um, to that, that, that we're proactively working on economic development by making sure these kids have these programs. I'll, I'll Who else is in? And, I'll go in and chip in this year, but I, I would like to add now, uh, we've got these new... Uh, Rick houses in the uh, in the county. Yeah, congratulations, y'all! Got those in <laughs> The way I understand it, the school system's going to be getting a lot of tax dollars yes. off of that. Schools so going to get a lot. I think the next year they ought to be able to. Uh, and, and that may be a lot more. If, if anyone on the on the court is interested, maybe that's uh, you all can maybe help us massage that uh, a little bit. You all may have a little bit more sway uh, with them than than we would as they. Jason, we're, we're allowed in there and get there. Yeah. Jason, are you in on this one? I go home with whatever. Five of us, I'll go in the five hundred. Okay, are you in, Jason? Yeah. Okay, are you in, Larry? Okay, we got it. Well, thank you very much, and I appreciate the time. And if you ever have any questions. Uh, Jason, if you'd like to get together for lunch and we can talk, that, that would be wonderful. As long as his wife comes right home. <laughs> sure. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Just speak like Jason. Thank you. Uh, thanks a bunch for coming. Thank you. You can arrange with Ann how you'll uh, get that. <clears throat> you know what? We better put a motion on for that. We be motion by Sam Small for like second by Joe Barnes. To contribute $2,500 to JA from the discretionary accounts aforenoted. noted. Divided up five ways. Yeah, yeah. divided five ways five among yeah. us five. Okay. Uh, okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Um, Emily Heron from the airport board is here to give us a presentation. <laughs> guys um so the first thing i want to address is a question that you gave me larry back in december it feels like it's been forever since then i had the flu and then we had something going on last month so here i am in march um but so just to kind of answer your question on bid qualifications for contractors um so basically anyone could bid on it that we're not going to turn anyone away that you know could possibly come and bid on it but they must provide a statement of qualifications showing a resume of projects that they have completed that are similar to the project that we want done. So that's definitely one of the calculations you know, for us to, of course, want to be able to accept the bid. Um, we talked about how they, a lot of times, the way they kind of get into doing this is by subcontracting. So a lot of times if there's a contractor that wants to, you know, start being able to build these types of buildings, then they would sub with another, another contractor. Um, but in these projects, the prime contractor, uh, the person who actually bids the job, must perform 30% of the total contract cost. Um, so that's one of the things that, you know, <coughs> the prime contractor would have to do at least 30%, and then the sub could do the rest. Um, there's also some stipulations on insurance that they carry. So a lot of the smaller contractors probably aren't going to carry the amount of insurance that would be required for our engineering firm to be able to hire them. Um, obviously, when you think about working on an airport, there's lots of things that cost lots of money that if something were to go wrong, um, you know, you've got to have a, a pretty high insurance uh, coverage to be able to, to work on those projects. Um, do you have any other questions about that or does that? No, I could understand where you take a 20, 20 foot uh, six by six fall on an airplane. I, I, I see yeah, where they need some uh, sufficient if, insurance. If you've seen you know any of the damage um, in the pictures from the tornado in Nashville to the airport, John C. Toon Airport down there, it's like $90 million worth of damage, yeah. and that's not even including the airplanes, yeah. the corporate jets. It's just it's crazy. But um, anyways, the other thing I was coming to um, talk to you all about tonight is we've got our project that we've been working on with the FAA over the past, uh, well, we started kind of back in the fall um, doing some, some things. This is an update called the ALP, Airport Layout Plan. 
They do this every 10 years for every airport in the United States, um, every public airport. So they come in and they'll bring their airplanes, they'll fly our runway, look at any obstructions that may be in the area so we know kind of there's things that are in the way of our, um, our instrument navigational approaches and things like that. And then they'll also kind of look at what we have. Um, they'll look at our land. They'll look at the buildings and the structures we have uh, and where we see ourselves growing over the next 10 years. And so we'll kind of look at, well, what are some things, what are some expansions we need to do? Are there things we need to upgrade, pavement, um, you know, additional structures to accommodate for airplanes, you know, things like that. Um, so this is an FAA project, and with every FAA project comes a state match and a local match. Uh, so the FAA covers 90%, state does 7.5%, and then the local match is 2.5%. So for the ALP project and um, there's also a design, we're going to be getting new runway lights. Um, so that we're going to be upgrading to LED and making those a lot more efficient. Um, so we're including the design for that electrical project also in with this grant. So the local match for that is $7,454. Um, so just wanted to present that to you all for the local match and see what we can do about getting that taken care of for the airport. How's the, how's the hangar? <coughs> well, we're in the process right now. The judge is in the process of getting the, we need a, a small portion from the park. So we're getting that appraised, um, just a portion right kind of behind where we're going to build it. Um, the state won't build anything that doesn't isn't deemed right. to the airport. So yeah. we're in the process of that right now, and as soon as we get that taken care of, then we'll start the bidding process and get going on that. So. Okay. And we've got seven thousand more. Four hundred and fifty-four. I believe. Yes. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. Yep. Seven four five four. Certainly, thanks for the update. Appreciate it. If, 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 yes. And has the airport paid back all that they got from the county possibly. last year? Very possibly. Because um, it may not, it, it may take less than that to do that bill. So we'll know until we get the bids in right. He got them wrong the first time with the tear off. We're not going to do it. It hasn't been? Because the steel is supposed to hold the building up. Uh, we, let's uh, take this under advisement. There's a possibility that we may can remove it up from some uh, construction uh, costs we've got on another project. The other project will have to be done. If I don't hear a better idea here from the group. Uh, that's what we can kind of look at and see if we can do it. How soon are you needing it to, uh, to apply this? Um, we will start getting invoices probably, I would say, within yeah. the next month or so. Now, that's not, we're not going to need all 7,000 right at once. How it'll work is every time there's an invoice come in, if the invoice comes in for $30,000, we'll do 2.5% of that. So it's just our 2.5% yeah. of every invoice that we get. Um, so I, I anticipate the first invoice coming within the next few weeks, I would say. <laughs> Do you have to have it by a certain time? For the local master, then we'll keep yeah, yeah. on with the project. Well, <laughs> yes, but we already have contract for it, so <laughs> okay. it's definitely, you know, if you know we can't get it at all, then yeah, that would be a, a big deal. <laughs> Judge, can we pull it from that? Go ahead and make a motion. Pull it from that line item right tonight, unless we find something better here later. Well, I mean, I'm working on the theory that those buildings come in under that. Uh, well, this uh, could be a motion to back up if it use that. If it doesn't, then yeah. we could pull it from there. And then that would give us more time to we can do that. that money. We can do that. I'd entertain the motion to pull it from the. Uh, uh, line item county building and equipment and improvements on the uh, HB 200 project list. What number is that, Joe? And uh, number 11. Um, and that's a backup if the right. the money already comes in. Under. That's right on the pinnacle of whether it's going to be funded. What if not. it don't come through? Yeah. We're going to have to figure another way. The, um, 
by, well, by moving those line items around and did that not how much did that free up uh, that would definitely get the next one which is the airport which is a hundred uh-huh and we so, had 110 we moved so would that would we not have 10 we still have one more yeah but we've already used 10 you use sixteen for gas already, so yeah. that's a really only eighty four thousand. We'll get our yeah, so uh, next quarterly check in sometime in April, mid to end April, and then we'll know how far we can go down on that. But I think that motion for me to support it would be contingent on the fact that it's there. You know, if it's not, we'll figure. You know, that's after the park buildings are scanned. It should be. By scanned, I mean new co new metal put on the outside. Mm -hmm. And that's going to what? The buildings at the park, oh, the two okay. on the hill, that's peeling off. And this bit is cosmetic. It's going to be, uh, it's uh, uh, going to leave that structure on there. So that's what holds it up. It's built out what you call strong panel. Oh, okay. And that's actually what the building's standing up on. So, so you're just remetaling the outside. Yeah. I, I think you can, let me make sure. It should be there, but I, I don't want to go halfway around the building. No. The next project is the airport, which is $81,000 left. And that's in six months, or that could be longer than what this one is coming up. Well, potentially, potentially. yes. I mean, they'll both kind of be, you know. So if it's a question, I think we can definitely do the seven out of that. And then... Hopefully, you know, the rest of them will get it and not get it and worry about it. And both, pro both projects, neither one, the state and the FAA, neither one are going to come and say, all right, we're ready for the $84,000 check or we're ready for the $7,000 check. Like I said, every time we get an invoice, and for the, the state project, whatever $84,000 or $1.2 million is, that's our percentage, um, you know, of the match for that. So every time an invoice comes in, we pay our percentage right. of that. So I think we'll have it. Another backup plan of this co severance money didn't add up to be that hundred thousand y'all got coming. Is it already spent for equipment? That's that's <coughs> sixteen thousand of it went to fuel, and the eighty four thousand went to the T hanger project. Yeah, the matching part of that we did a while back. <coughs> I'm just saying, if this bill came in first, yes, yes, got a, a game plan. Yes, okay. Yes. okay. Uh, mo mo Joe Barnes made a motion that from that item second. and second by Jason Bullock that the money's there after the buildings are scanned, <laughs> we'll use it. Okay. After the park project's done. Okay. Uh, any, any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, the flight I was going to tell you since she's here. The flight school at the airport is really doing well, um, and hopefully that will create some more uh, business. And uh, it's about time, I think, according to one of the members, that it's about time to negotiate the FBO contract. Maybe we'll get some income from get some income from that as well to help support the airport. Okay. Okay, and maybe separate the contract with the flight school to the a separate deal, maybe, instead of the, through the FBO. Okay, that, I had that report. It wasn't you, but somebody else on there. Uh, all right. Well, thank you. Uh, we're ready for master's comments. Sam. I have nothing to do. I have a committee report. We just please. Of, and it's just basically we the administrator comes uh, met just a little bit and. We looked over the attendance policy and stuff like that, and at this point, no, nah, nothing has been moved on at this point. We just kind of discussed a few things, but we didn't make any decisions at this point. Okay. And uh, I forgot committee reports. I'm sorry about that. Joe, you got? Uh, no, we're still waiting on that. Uh, uh, Renetta and, and Justin still working that out on the incentive program. Right. right. Just put that in motion when, the, when people obtain it. Right. And I don't have any other committee. Okay. Uh, I was going to tell you about uh, the committee that met. The uh, Ohio County Community and Judicial Center Building Safety Committee has met, and they've given us a report, which all of you have a copy of. 
and uh, we will be taking that, that into consideration after we can have a committee meet on it. I mean, I mean the the court to have time to look over it, and we'll talk about it. But uh, we appreciate all the work that get put into that. It's quite a bit of effort, and appreciate it. And Les is here. He was on that committee as well, Judge Browning. So uh, Alan, who's here, was the uh, uh, he headed up the committee, and uh, I really appreciate that that you did that. I'm on the committee, but I was in Alabama when they had their meeting. Okay. They weren't going to come down there. There. Uh, Judge, I just want to thank the applicants that uh, put forth the application for the road foreman. I think every one of them had good interviews. Absolutely. You made the final choice on it, and uh, but I just want to commend them for their effort uh, putting forth uh, the time uh, involved in it, and uh, we thank them. And I thank the committee for that did the interviews and all that too. Appreciate that. Y'all took time and stayed really late on a Friday night. Yeah, unfortunately we had to do some apolog apologizing to the individuals so we kept them two hours, two hours and a half waiting <laughs> because it really, quite frankly, took longer than we anticipated for each individual. But like I say, they done they done a great job on their interviews. Larry? What's the status on the veterans? Memorial at uh, Rosine. It is at the uh, trophy house to be done, and the trophy house man got sick. No, no, I'm talking about the lighting at the back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, it's in progress. Uh, Bo was doing a whole bunch of paperwork for Warren Rural Electric that they had to have. And everything's planned, and, and he's working on that for them now. They had to have uh, documents stating that there were no uh, septic systems in the area, and there's no gas lines, and a whole bunch of stuff. And this is no utility company. Had to have all that before they'll move it for us. This Warren Electric requiring that. And what's the status on the uh, road that uh, the new dollar store tore up the chip and seal? Uh, it's been graveled heavily, and uh, keep looking at it. And uh, I haven't met with them a while, but Dennis and I will again. Shouldn't they have to? It was. Was it? I'm not. Was it chip and seal? Yes, it was. It was in pretty decent shape. Well, we we will get a price together on it and get them a bill. Okay. Who would have thought? Rosine had a dollar <laughs> right next door to me. Uh, yeah. right. it's, yeah. a, it's a good. It's a good one too. Uh, certainly. Yeah, they're they're an asset. Yes, no they are. About. Yeah, I understand that the uh, satellite went up to the moon, and they saw a sign. Got closer and said. Uh, Future side of Dollar Genius. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, is anybody in the general public got anything can, to build about? Can I say one thing real quick? Uh, yes. Uh, can we go ahead and schedule our budget workshop meeting? <laughs> it's Monday the 23rd, the Tuesday before. Is that? That would be fine. Is that okay? 3.30, 4 o'clock? Or what do you guys think? Yeah, 3.30 uh, is good with me. I just trying to we go ahead that way it doesn't get over you know. When is our next? Uh, next it's the 24th is our next meeting. Mm -hmm. That's the day. Is that when you want to try to incorporate it in with the afterwards after the budget? Work well, on the budget actually, after the meeting. Look at you know where we can. Not well. Where the, is the next meeting? Have you decided? It's at Horse Springs Fire Station. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Four would be better for me. I think okay. four five, four five here on the day before. I ain't going up there at Horse Branch by myself. No. <laughs> but can we set it at the twenty third Monday, twenty third, four o'clock? I said I wasn't going to Horse Branch. By yes. Stop my help. Sam, you had something else. What waterline thing we forgot? Yeah, I'm gonna ask the court. I have a waterline <laughs> extension that's already on the list. Three hundred and. 63 feet or whatever it was we put on. I'd like to have it moved up. Uh, the gentleman's getting ready to build a house and uh, it's on bare run. Motion road, and uh, I'd That's like right. to get it moved up if I could. I would second that motion. Have you got a cost on the same? Yeah, we put it on there. Was it 6,000, 7,000? I, I think it was right around that ballpark. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember just exactly what put on the list. It was. Yeah. yeah, that's rough. That's right. you see some future development out there, do you? Yeah, at least three houses. Good. I'm good. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Post like aye. sign. I'm good with that too. I do think that sometimes in the near future we need to look at, you know, like we have a road, uh, taking in roads you can only have if they've got three houses or dwellings. 
I think sometimes if you don't watch it though, we could get in trouble by expectations yeah. of people. Hey, we're going to build. We so want the line in, and then yeah. they don't. Well, they know that they're building out there. It's not a you know, if, if it was three hundred sixty feet, two miles. Down. Yeah, you know, that'd be a little bit. And there's pretty sure going to be some substantial homes built. What I'm being started. It's on the list. It's on the list. And I'm not saying anything on the list right now. I'm just saying in the future, I think we need to be careful. I mean, it gets as broad as I've had some people call and want to get a water line in there before they really commit to buying the property. I'm like, oh, we can't do that. Yeah, and I know the water system won't put it in unless it's county road. Well, they have this right. owns Absolutely. 400 and some acres there. Yeah, so. we run into that up in there. <laughs> what was that? You already about? Do what? We just took it in. Yeah. The road's in now and the water line's taking it. I yeah. can't remember. Yeah. But we run into that. that uh, that's been working on ever since I've been in office. And now it's ordered to him to do it. So we, yeah. We're doing pretty good at water lines. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, we voted on that already, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, nobody else has anything else for the good of this body. We stand adjourned.